we are continuing off our discussion of uh, module number two, where we're looking at uh, software process models. And um, today we are hoping we can, we can finish off um, the remaining bit of, um, of, of this, this, this approach that, that, um, that involves uh, reusing already existing software components, right? Or libraries or collections or packages. Um, and we, when we met, uh, I don't know if it was yesterday, it was, I think, we got to a stage where we, we, we started, um, we started uh, uh, by looking at uh, so-called web services, and then um, we gave a few examples of, of, of a typical um, web service that you'd find yourself using, right? Um, I, I gave two specific, I, I gave the two examples for a reason, because um, the, so I gave an example of, uh, of this XML encoded response that you get, you get back. Um, and, and, and also, um, I gave an example of, um, of a JSON uh, formatted response, right? So that would be this response from, from uh, in this case, this is Lusaka Times. Um, in, in fact, if you check the time and, um, and go to, to, to these, these URLs, so if you go to list.unza.zm slash archive rest, for instance, um, observe, if I am to open up my browser and just go to HTTP uh, list.unza.zm slash uh, archive rest, which is the, uh, the uh, resource path that enables you to interact with, um, with, uh, with the REST API associated with our document archive, right? So if you go there, right, you, you should be able to uh, release document archive. Uh, you should be able to interact with, with this uh, REST API. So observe, if I'm to paste this into my browser, hopefully I think it's still running. Um, I get this page. Now, the interesting thing about this page is that um, it, 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 it's essentially um, um, a condensed version of the documentation, right? So what this page shows you are the series of endpoints, right? Uh, REST, RESTful API endpoints for this application that will enable you to pull uh, important information being exposed by this application. So for instance, if I am to use this slash communities, I'll, I'll start with the slash uh, status, for instance, right? It tells you that if I do slash status, it tells me the information on the current authenticated user, right? So if I come here and just test a REST API slash status, um, I get the status of the current logged on user or something, right? Um, and you notice that the status is uh, an XML encoded uh, uh, format, right? Um, you know? Uh, so, so what this shows me here is if, I, if I'm writing a program, right, that requires that I access content exposed by this application, um, that is, is, is behind, uh, uh, well, that requires um, authorization for you to gain access to it. You, you first of all have to check the status, whether, uh, you know, you're currently logged on. If not, then you log in and then check the status again. So you only proceed to pro programmatically process the response or check for the response once this authenticated status is true and not false. Right now, because I'm not logged on, the status is false. Um, not so interesting, but um, if, I, if I use the slash, and, and by the way, the way that you consume this programmatically is uh, your program obviously would be consuming um, something similar to this. So observe, I would say, uh, I don't know if wget would work here. Is this wget or something? I don't know. W get or something. No. Let me see here. Let me see. Hmm. Say that we get the, the, uh, the flag that allows you to send uh, send uh, out uh, output to the screen or something. Let's we'll see if we can do this. No, this is not uh, waking up. Uh, 
I'm wondering why this is fading. I was hoping I could uh, showcase exactly how this works, but uh, it appears. I don't want it to. I don't want it to download the page. That's the thing, right? Oh well, it looks like it's not. Uh, it's not working. And the funny thing is, uh, I think I was. I was. Uh, I don't know if it's. It's zero or something. The funny thing is, I was, we were doing something not too long ago. Let me just check the flags. Send log file. There we go. Right? And it's all. Do you know why this is not working? This man saw. This thing is not working. Anyway, it looks like uh, life is against us today. Is it zero or minus four? Oh, there we go. So it appears I needed to put the, uh, the Q before the O here. So I'll get something similar to this. And so I can literally, uh, I can literally, uh, I can literally um, process. Um, Knowledge. I can process this information right without a problem. So this this is the output that I'll be interested in, right? This thing here. And so the reason I was showing it on the command line is that uh, whilst whilst we can see the output in the browser, it's um, it's much more intuitive if you if you run it using some terminal uh, command application or if you interact with the with the endpoint using a tool such as Postman, for instance, right? Um, if we go back to the documentation. What you notice is that there's other endpoints, right? So if I want to get the list of communities, for instance, I just replace the status with the, with the um, so I come here, instead of slash status, I would say slash communities, right? And then I get to see a list of uh, XML encoded communities. Um, I don't know if the order is by collection ID or something. Um, what is that? Uh, commun communities, I don't know if I should, probably get, I just copy this in case I've made it, I've, I have a typo in my, in my code here. Um, let me just see if I can press the things like that. Yep, it looks like there's a parsing error, probably nothing wrong with my thing here, it's just uh, the way it is. Let's look at something else, slash collections. Uh, if this fails, we can always use uh, a completely different, similar application, but uh, it's a different instance of it, so I can go slash collections, and uh, it looks like this thing has uh, errors throughout. I don't know, uh, and it appears it has something to do with this, uh, the name given to the collection. Let's look at items. Let's get the list of all items, right? So slash items. So in essence, all the objects, right, in this uh, in this uh, repository. Hopefully, this will be able to work without a problem. Looks like there's an error as well. But but what we can do is um, hope that um, if we use uh, if we use uh, something like this, uh, let me see if the rest of this works. There we go. So we can use this completely different application, a, a different instance, which uses the same application. So if you go to uh, the uh, Open UCT platform, which is here, the the landing page where we are seeing the documentation slash rest. So what we can do, right, is we can say, well, let's look at the list of, um, of um, communities in the, uh, the Open UCT repository. So we'll do that, and then we'll be able to see a list. And, and it looks like this thing is, uh, I'm getting errors for all of these, I don't know, probably, okay, parsing error, I don't know what that means here, but that's okay. Let's see if oh, it looks like the problem is with uh, the way. Oh, these these people have changed now, right? Okay, so the reason is simple. If you notice, the output is JSON, right? I don't know if you can see this. Uh, so if I'm if I'm to copy this, right? The output that I get when I when I when I when I'm accessing, um, if I want to view all the communities, uh, the collections in this platform. It's, um, 
And I guess maybe more recent versions of, of this, uh, this, this piece of software provide JSON output. You notice this here. This is a command I, I, I executed, right? Let's push the thing above. And then you have this JSON encoded um, output here, all the way up to, I guess it would be here. Um, I'm not sure if there's an easier way of formatting uh, uh, JSON, I don't know. Uh, but um, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I do know that some, uh, in my case, when I'm, when I'm trying to, to, to properly align this so that I can, I, can, uh, I can see the structure of the JSON, what I'll do is I'll manually do this. So you notice there's an opening square bracket, which has a corresponding uh, uh, square bracket, closing square bracket towards the end here, right? And, and you, it's hard to see uh, how this stuff is encoded because, uh, because uh, uh, the, the stuff is not, it's not properly formatted, right? Which is, you know, un unfortunately, I don't know. Um, let's just try and see here. Maybe we can find out. Um, if we can find uh, Stack Overflow is usually a nice way to do this. Um, and I hope I have all the tools that are going to be prescribed here. Uh, hmm, okay. Nope. No, I have Python installed, so what I can do is uh, beautiful, I'll just pipe it to this uh, JSON tool. So um, if we are to see this, this is what we will do. And I need to use uh, Python 3 here because I have Python 3 installed. So this is Python 3. Uh, there we go. So this is this this way of structuring the output is is somewhat more, in, uh, I guess, a lot more legible, right? You can literally see that the structure of this, uh, uh, the response that I'm getting back to that endpoint is is this here, right? So what this is telling me is that, um, and in fact, I can go to our list repository and do the same exact thing here. So, uh, because we now know that the problem was not with uh, REST API, was not with the, uh, the repository itself, but the way we, we, we were, uh, the assumption we we're making that this stuff was formatted in XML, uh, uh, not the case, archive, uh, archive REST, REST API. Um, and you will see that if you look at this output here, right, this is what you process programmatically, but because you're putting the same output that is presented um, using, if you look at this, using um, the, the browser, if I go to the interface here, if I go to list slash archive, right, what you will notice is that the, the, the here I'm viewing, uh, I just got communities, right? If if I am to, and I, I don't know what sort of communities this were, were, were including here, it appears it says name, Capstone Project Reports. Uh, okay. There has, there has to be more communities though. Undergraduate reports, it's not collections, not communities. What? Oh, maybe they are. Oh, actually they are. So, no, but they are, no, these, these, are, these are not, Oh, this is a community. Yeah. So within, if you notice here, right, this is a community undergraduate uh, project reports. And then within here, you have uh, Capstone project reports. Within Capstone project reports, you now have these collections in this community, right? So these are the things you're seeing here. Capstone project reports, right? Uh, as a community, what are the community? Undergraduate project report, right? Uh, so we have two communities essentially. And then if we wanted to see the collections, would we'll just come here and just change the endpoint to say we want to see some of this down here. We wish to see uh, collections and not communities. So we change this endpoint here to collections, right? Um, and then we'll be able to see these collections. If you notice the collection names, right? Beginning here, we have ICT 4014 project information and communication technologies. And true to that, if you come here under these caps on project reports, you have these collections, right? And one of the collections is this. ICT 4014 project in information uh, and communication technologies. The other uh, collection is LIS 4014 research and development information systems, which is this research and development information systems. So whilst you can point and click using this web interface, if you want to create an interesting service by interacting with the REST API, you'd have to use these endpoints. And the endpoints are always documented. There's a 
there's, there's a documentation page similar to this that tells you exactly how you extract information that you want, right? Um, you can, in some instances, you can filter information that you want. In this case, you can filter information by author, for instance, or by subject, right? So pretty interesting stuff there. Um, so that's, that's the one example of the API, which is uh, a disk-based powered uh, repository here. But we also mentioned that uh, um, most of these platforms, like Lusaka Times, for instance, is powered by, by, um, by WordPress. And by the way, they'll teach you in, I, I don't know if they've already said they're teaching you, but there's nice software tools that you can use to find out what sort of content management system is, is used, right? A tool that I like to use is this web application called Belt With, right? So if I go to Belt With and then I just uh, look up, right? Lusaka Times for it. Are you still there? Talking yes, we are. Yes, right. sir. Um, so if I go to uh, if I go to HTTP and then I say Lusaka Times, right? Lusaka, Lusaka Times. What is this called? LusakaTimes.com. So www.lusakatimes.com. So www.lusakatimes.com. Once I do a lookup in this, uh, by the way, I'm just going to share beltwith.com here if you're interested. This allows, if you find a nice looking application on a web application and you're wondering, what did these people use to build this application? You can use a, a service like beltwith.com. There are plenty of them, but I prefer beltwith.com myself. Um, and if I say lookup here, right? What, thing is, what this thing is going to do is it's going to try and figure out what sort of technologies we are used to. And I see there's no WordPress download website. I wonder if uh, technology matches. I wonder if... Uh, I don't know if it's a full thing that enter website address, a technology queue. Let me see if... Uh, if oh, well, there we go, right? The Saka Times is not dot there. You know, it's like Lusaka Times com or something. So it's Lusaka Times com, right? If you do a lookup, well, this piece of application is going to. What what's happening today? I don't know. You should Lusaka, right? Lusaka Times. There we go. This thing is going to show me to say uh, these are the tools associated with Lusaka Times. I don't know. Uh, you know, grab the profiles. Let's see if there's a content management system. So if I go under content management systems, you notice that it's implemented using WordPress and a specific version of WordPress, right? This is, uh, you probably don't see the value of doing this, but if I go to statehouse or something, statehouse.gov.zm or something, this is also a WordPress powered thing. Like last time I checked, it was powered by WordPress. Unless if uh, the Smart Zambia Institute has uh, changed the direction um, in terms of the, the technologies that they use to implement these uh, statehouse these um, web, web, web websites, right? Government affiliated websites. But last time I checked, statehouse.gov.zm was powered in uh, uh, state, I think, is, is it statehouse, SH, SH or something? Statehouse, Zambia. Does anybody know the website? No, I think that is alert. Uh, SSH.gov, right? Ooh. Why, why SH? Uh, if we go to sh.gov, right, if you look at the state house website, you'd be sitting there and wondering, oh, it looks beautiful or something. I don't know if it looks beautiful, but in case you, you find a site like this and you think it looks nice, um, let's see, uh, you can look it up, right? Uh, it, it looks fancy like this, like a lot of work went into there, but they're using, now I'm not undermining the work that went into there, but if you're using a content management system, you, you implement these things with relative ease, right? So if I go under content management systems, you notice it's a WordPress powered site. And because, right, this is important, because it's a WordPress powered site, if you are looking at uh, implementing an application that automatically pulls information from the state house website, for whatever reason, right? Um, you, you know that by default, WordPress has an endpoint, right? A restful endpoint. So if I go to the state house website, hopefully this works here, and, and, and just uh, access, and it looks like it doesn't work here, which is quite sad. I don't know. Uh, looks like it doesn't work, but that's fine. I'm sure there's a way of, uh, maybe they haven't activated this, but I know the Lusaka Times one probably works here. Uh, and that's if um, the way that you access these endpoints are sort of like changed, right? 
but maybe they haven't activated this in, in for the state house website or they're using an older version, right? Because if you look at uh, Lighton's website, because it's powered by WordPress as well, what you can do is, for whatever reason, you can build an interesting application that automatically pulls information from Lighton's website, right? And, and you'll be able to see this stuff here. So if you look at this, these, these things that you're seeing here, we can do the same thing here and just say that we get uh, minus Q not uh, zero rather than that, and then do that and just, uh, uh, just uh, use the uh, Python. I think it was Python 3. We need to use a specific mode, which is a JSON mode, I guess. I don't know if this is the thing here, but I think it should be able to work, I hope. So if you look at this, right, this, you can programmatically pull information from Lighton's website because you know, right? You figured out, you've done your research, and you know that uh, this is powered by WordPress, and you know that WordPress has a RESTful API, so you can pull this information. If, if we can scroll all the way up here and try and see if there's anything uh, of interest from, uh, this is quite too much here, but maybe I'll do more or something. Uh, so we see here from the output, I don't know if you can see the output, but uh, uh, let's see if there's anything interesting here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Posts, right? Um, Let's see if there are any interesting posts here. Probably not yet, not yet. Limit. Da, 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 da. Let's see if there's anything of value here. We'd actually have to, it's likely that I, we are not, uh, whether, uh, we probably have to use a different endpoint for us to access maybe posts or something. I can't see any interesting things to do with the posts here, but that's okay. Uh, that is okay. Probably this is just a landing page that tells you exactly how uh, slash post, how shooting in the dark here. Uh, there we go. So if I do a slash post, I guess that's when this would work or something. Observe. If I come here and say v2 slash post for the end here, like so. Um, post, not post. Uh, I would then posts. I think it's post, it is post, because a lot of them is post. So if we start passing through here, you notice, right? One of the titles for the post is, and, and the snippet here is, our work, Enterprise Medical Imaging in the Global South Accepted by ICT Africa. And true to that, if you go to Lighton's website, you see that uh, one of the posts, right, published on the blog itself is the stuff that you pulled using the RESTful endpoint. Uh, sorry, Lighton, not less at a time. Right? And so you, you'll be able to see that this, this is what we are seeing, the our work, enterprise medical imaging, the global south, this is what we are seeing here, including the short snippet here, our submission, blah, blah, blah. If you look at this, our submission, all the way up to the end here. The next post is our work factors influencing co-creation, right? If we come down here and we check, we'll see that our, sub, not our submission, but the next post here, it's all the way down, I'm guessing, all the way down, which is here, our work, right? Um, and this is the slug, it's all I can see, but this is it. Our work, factors influencing co-creation co of open education resources accepted, right? So so just, I wanted to sort of point that out. I mean, I, I'm hoping these, these examples I'm giving um, uh, sort of like providing additional context as to uh, like scenarios and how you get to use these so-called web services. Remember we're discussing web services as examples of, 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 um, of um, uh, aspects to do with integration and configuration, right?